it's time to stop boosting your immune system, but maintain it. So throughout the year, you can set yourself up to maintain your immune system, which is working for you every single day anyway. So there's a lot of hype about boosting the immune system. There's tons of fizzy drinks, there's tons of supplements, and you know throughout the course of certain seasons, like winter and fall, everybody's boosting the immune system and there's tons of advertisements for new supplements on the market. People even run out of supplements. But if you set yourself up throughout the year and you know how to maintain it, you won't really have this problem regardless of what virus or bacteria or stealth infection that might come throughout the year, okay? So today I'm gonna to get into some ways that you can maintain it throughout the year so that you're not having this false sense of security that the supplements are going to work and actually prevent anything from affecting you as soon as you see everybody sneezing and going down with the count, right? So we have to look at this, your entire body, not just isolate the immune system. The immune system is part of other factors in your body, right? And so when we look at it and take a holistic approach, you cannot isolate your immune system. That's why just taking vitamin C when the weather turns may not be effective for you. And most of the time you are definitely not absorbing all the vitamin C in a supplement form. So the first thing you really have to know throughout any time to maintain your immune system, you have to sleep. Now, I know that tip is not sexy. It's not this all new research that has just come out, but people still don't do it. People do not get enough sleep. Are you getting enough sleep? So the, the deal with sleep is at night, your body recovers and it does so much, but you have to sleep soundly, deep REM sleep. And what happens is at night, your, there's specific immune cells that act like glue. And at night, the production of these immune cells, they increase. And so that glue tends to stick and hold on to and, and find any pathogens that are in the body that shouldn't be there that can attack you. And so that glue from these immune cells needs to increase so that it can protect you, right? And in the morning, you can recover and excrete whatever is there. There's a system for that. So you have to sleep, you have to get really great sleep. If you wake up in the middle of the night, if you have trouble sleeping, if you toss and turn, there are problems that can set you back there, right? And the second thing is, it is no secret that nutrition is key to your immune health. I know that that is um, something you probably heard before, but you have to eat and concentrate more so on fat soluble vitamins when we talk about your immune health. I know that vitamin C is important and of course it helps to maintain your immune system, but people don't concentrate a lot on fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K. And it's always best to get these from nutrition. Do not supplement. Get out of the habit of supplementing and depending on these. Food, you can absorb all of your food if your systems are on point. And so it's always best to get it in food form as well. Um, I would definitely concentrate on vitamin A, which really surprises people. But vitamin A helps to protect the lining of your gut from low-grade um, infections that can cause um, low-grade inflammation down the line and makes your immune system um, fight those infections over time and can make you feel sick. So vitamin A helps to coat the lining of your gut. So it's, it starts to, it helps you heal the gut. And this is really crucial because your, immu your immune cells, 90, 80 to 80% of them are created in the gut. And so by healing with food and protecting and nourishing your gut, you are boosting or maintaining your immune system year round. So that's why nutrition is so important, okay? So fat soluble vitamins. And vitamin D is also tricky because 
It is a hormone technically, and most people have to supplement. There, there's no way around it because we get vitamin D naturally from the sun, but when fall and winter come, obviously the sun, there, you, you have limited time, um, in, um, you have limited time in the sun. So vitamin D production goes down and most likely you will have to supplement, but do not supplement with too much vitamin D. Too much um, supplementation can do the opposite. It can, um, it can hinder your healing and hinder your immune system and other aspects of your body. And so the third thing to concentrate to maintain your immune system is actually limiting your protein and fat intake more so your fat intake and that is healthy fat and bad fat obviously we know that bad fat is just bad for your system right and your immune system but too much eating too many healthy fats can also hold your system back and that's because when you eat fat your liver and your gallbladder have to break that down because that is what they do they go from a detoxification organ to breaking down fat to help you digest your food. And your liver wants to detox. That's what it's really there for to protect you. So if you eat too much fat in the diet, your liver is constantly bombarded by breaking down fat rather than doing 100% of its work in protecting you, helping you detox, and protecting you from toxins that are coming into the system, okay? So too much fat, where it's healthy or unhealthy, or trans fat or saturated fat, it, it really diverts the liver's attention from protecting you um, from and helping you detox. That's number one. Too much fat in the diet also in, increases fat in your blood, and that decreases the levels of oxygen in the blood. And we want good, fresh, clean, thin, nourished blood so that it increases the white blood cell production to go after the pathogens that are floating around in the system. And so when you have too much fat in the diet, it tends to go too much fat in the blood. And so you see that it diverts that protection mechanism as well. And so when it comes down to the liver, the liver wants to detox because there are so many toxins that you are exposed to every single day that it wants to really flush through the system. Viruses, bacteria, um, pills, plastics, pesticides, other heavy metals, it wants to really do a good job. And when it's diverted and detoxing so much fat from food, then it's not doing 100% of what it really wants to do. So how would you feel if you are not doing what you love, right? And so when you take these into account, you gotta sleep. Nutrition is key, but try to concentrate on something different. Your fat-soluble vitamins, or your fat-soluble foods, right? And um, get them from food sources and tend to limit the fats. I know that there are a lot of high, trendy diets with high protein and high fat from, you know, eating a lot of avocados, eggs, and, and um, meats, especially fish and chicken. But when you think about it, lean meats like chicken, one cup of chicken breast is five grams of fat. That's saturated fat. And it's about 43 grams of protein. And the average woman daily intake needs for protein ranges from 43 to 47 um, grams of protein per day. So if you're eating eggs and bacon or avocado toast in the morning for breakfast and then chicken and you know a salad with dressing and some olive oil and you're cooking with olive oil and then at night you're eating some more animal protein, that's a lot of saturated fat regardless of if it's healthy or not. So take into account that all of the systems are at play. Your hormonal system, your digestive system, your detoxification system, um, everything is helping you to maintain your immune health. You just gotta get the recipe right. You cannot isolate your immune system and depend on supplements just because you know it's winter time or everybody's sniffling around you. 
when you really look at it from a holistic approach and you set yourself up and you set your lifestyle up for that, guaranteed you will be in really great health and a really great position for whatever comes around. So if you ever need any more help and you want to get specific to your needs, you're always welcome to book your free rating analysis with me. I'll go ahead and um, share the link if you wanna let me know below if you're interested in that. And so it's always best to take a holistic approach to maintaining all of your systems to maintain your immune system so it can work for you every single day like it wants to do and it was designed to do. Take care.